My name is Reverend Carissa, and welcome to today's Rooted Reflection for Monday, February 22nd. Today we're reflecting on the poem on page five of your wilderness devotion. And if you're just joining us, you can get one of these wilderness devotions in one of our Lent kits, the brown bags available for adults and for families with children with a little few extras for the kids for pickup on the front porch of our church. We are happy to share that resource with you without any charge. This is our ministry to you to help you have a meaningful and grounded Lenten season. Today, the poem that is in our devotion uh, is a, about beginnings. This week, all our devotions will reflect on how wilderness is a place of beginning. In the Lenten journey, we journey through the wilderness and we find new beginnings there. I thought about all the different things that trigger beginnings in our lives. You know, there's the big life moments, the beginning of a marriage, the beginning of parenthood, the beginning of empty nester season, the beginning of college admissions for your kids, the beginning of retirement. There are big seminal life moments that give us new beginnings. Then there's smaller beginnings. You know, the, the beginning of a fresh notebook at the beginning of a school year, the new beginning of a new year. Thank God it's 2021, as we said this January the new beginning that we find in the hope of receiving vaccines and, and the hope that we have for new beginnings of gathered communities in person once more. We find so many different ways to begin again and again. And this is part of our faith as United Methodists. We believe that God's grace is not something that just does a one time only change in our life, the, when God justifies us and we are made right with God. Rather, we believe that in addition to that moment, that God's grace is constantly working on us again and again to begin again, begin again. As Bishop Matthews used to say, every day I wake up and I pray to God that I'm a little bit better than I was the day before. I begin again. So if you have not yet picked a Lenten practice or a Lenten sacrifice, if you have not yet figured out what your spiritual discipline will be this Lent, let me encourage you that it is not too late to begin again. It's not too late. This is the Monday of the first full week of Lent. And so I want to invite you to dig deep and dig your roots down into the soil of this season. And as you do, let me encourage you to not make this a false beginning. You know, Lent is not about rebooting your New Year's resolution. It is not about beginning a new diet, even if we pretend it's about giving up chocolate and it's secretly about getting ready for swimsuit season. That is not what Lent is about, a pseudo-spiritual diet. That is not what Lent is about. Instead, Lent is about beginning again in seeking who God made us to be, and how we can be more like Christ. I love these three lines in this poem by Sarah R. It says, begin again with the person you want to be, or I would even say the person that God wants you to be. Begin again with the person you want to love. Maybe someone you're having conflict with and you can begin again, or someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time, but you can begin again in love. Begin again with the knowledge of your faith. If you've had some doubts, if you've had some hard times, you can begin again. Start from what you know to be true. Begin again with the knowledge that God has created you, that God loves you exactly as you are, and God loves you way too much to stay that way. Friends, may we begin again this day and every day as we are constantly transformed by the relentless love of God. Grace and peace be with you.